Heck, I was walking around in the warm-up area that September in 1983 and just happened to start chatting with Emil Hendricks, who was riding on the Dutch team. And he said, do you ever come to Europe to look at horses? And I said, well, occasionally. He said, if you come over and you have time, give me a call, here's my card. Well, that was a happenstance that I talked to Emil that day. And it was also a happenstance that I got done all my other business in Europe a day early. And I could have sat around Brussels and relaxed for a day and caught the plane home. I was certainly tired enough. But I picked up the phone and called Emil and he said, you know, there's a horse. And he said, uh, a lot of different opinions and viewpoints on this horse. You may hate him, you may like him, but I think he's worth a look. And that was Big Ben. And if you, uh, if you chart the circumstances that led up to me walking in the barn that day and seeing Big Ben, there's a lot of happenstance there. When I first saw the horse, in fact, we walked into the, the stable in Holland and he was already had the saddle and bridle on and he was tied up in the aisle waiting for us. And I remember very well looking at him and he kind of turned his head. And there was a group of us there, but it, it was really like he looked at me and I looked at him and there definitely was an instant synergism, if you will. Uh, communication was right there. We got along real well. It's just like when you meet somebody and you shake hands with them and you look them in the eye and you know darn well that you see a lot of things the same way and that there's the potential there to work very well together and be good friends. And that's exactly how I felt when I, when I first saw Big Ben.